Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today is International Sandwich Sunday and we are headed over to Belgium for the Martino sandwich. Now, quick programming note, uh, the sandwich involves raw egg yolks and raw beef, so if you're squeamish, vegan or vegetarian, uh, you won't offend me if you want to keep on scrolling. Uh, other thing you should note is uh, you shouldn't eat raw beef unless you know how to prepare it. Uh, I bought a New York strip steak from the store, cut off the outside, and just used the inner parts that had not been exposed to air, uh, so to mitigate any possible pathogen issues. I'm comfortable with the egg yolk uh, provider that I get my eggs from, so I'm gonna go for it. The first thing we have to do is create what they call American Preparé, which is a uh, tartare of sorts. So. Uh, yeah, let's get cracking. First thing we gotta do, mince some beef. Now to an egg yolk, we slowly add a neutral oil, like a canola or whatever, whatever you use. In goes shallots, capers, chives, parsley, salt, black pepper. Get that mixed together. Then we add in our raw minced beef and uh, kind of get it all mixed. Now you uh, take a piece of baguette and tear out the uh, bread on the inside. Now we put on a layer of our American uh, American Preparé or Preparé American. And sliced tomato. Now it says to mix two parts ketchup with one part mustard. And uh, put that on our sandwich. We cover that with lettuce. Then uh, jarred anchovies. A few drops of Tabasco sauce. And lastly, hard boiled eggs. Okay, let's give this Martino a go. Honestly, with all the seasoning in there, not just in the meat, but like the mustard, the ketchup, the eggs, the anchovies, you really don't get the sense that this is raw beef. You wouldn't really think about that uh, if someone just fed it to you. It's got a lot of good flavors going on, I dig it. Um, I do want to plus it up with one thing though. My first thought was to add some frites, you know, like moule frites, little french fries, uh, but I don't really have any of those. Plus, I wanted more of a crunch, so, oh yeah. Ruffles Simply Sea Salted Potato Chips. Okay, let's give this Martino plussed up with the Ruffles Simply Sea Salted Potato Chips. A go. That is a tasty addition. A little saltiness, a little potato, a little crunch. Got some texture going on there. Works with everything in here. It's not the neatest sandwich to eat. <laughs> this is good. But here's the thing. I made a small sandwich because I wasn't sure if I'd enjoy this or not. So I have a lot of that Preparé American left over. And I got an idea. Let's make some smash burgers. Well, this is my first attempt at smash burgers and one out of three ain't bad. Let's add a little Swiss cheese and get it melted. And what the heck, let's toast some bread. All right, lay down a little horseradish aioli. Our burger with melted Swiss cheese. A little lettuce, a little tomato, salt, pepper, Dijon mustard, and our potato chips. Okay, let's give this gross misappropriation of the Martino sandwich, smash burger, a go. Yeah, I don't know, I just kind of went wild this morning and thought, wow, that would actually make a decent burger, and so I had to try it. This is definitely not uh, a Belgian Martino. I apologize to the entire country of Belgium for doing this, but it sounded pretty good and it is really quite good. I mean, you got a horseradish aioli, you got the uh, seasoned beef with the capers and the uh, shallots, lettuce, tomato, little Swiss cheese. It's tasty, but it is not the Martino, so we will not rate it. All right, so the original Martino sandwich, I, you know, if you're okay with raw beef, um, it is actually pretty tasty. It's got a lot of good flavor in there, a lot of freshness from the tomato and the lettuce. Uh, a little bit of saltiness from the anchovies, eggs, a little richness. It's actually a pretty good combination, and it's you kind of makes you forget that there's raw beef in it. But I thought it was pretty tasty, and on that alone, I'm going to give that a seven and a half, solid. Uh, plus up with the Ruffles Simply Sea Salted Potato Chips, it's like an eight, eight and a half. I dig it. A little crunch, a little potato flavor. Just added a little, another couple of elements to the sandwich. I thought it was really good. As for the burger, uh, you know, obviously that's not right. It's not a Martino burger, but it's tasty. So if you make the Martino and you have leftover mints, uh, maybe make some hamburgers with it instead of have raw meat hanging out for a few days. You know what I mean? I'm going to finish the Martino because that's uh, raw beef and uh, I'll probably wrap this hamburger up and finish that later. All right. See you tomorrow.